And it kind of sucks because I feel like if I would yeah. never called Michael here last night, Brandon would still be alive and y'all wouldn't have this problem. That's a 17-year-old Albuquerque UNM student who, while charged in this case, Action 7 News is not identifying because of her age. According to police documents and this newly released police interview, she played a key role in luring NMSU basketball player Mike Peak to the UNM campus. During the police interview, she told police she first saw Peak in October at the UNM and NMSU rivalry football game in Las Cruces. So ever since then, We've been talking back and forth, and we just, like, when he got down here, he said, of course you want to have sex. So yeah. that's what we were going to do. She says her friend Brandon Travis pressured her into setting up Peak as retaliation for a fight that occurred weeks earlier at the UNM NMSU football game. The night she lured Peak onto campus, she at first said she didn't know who jumped Peak. So you know who were these dudes that pulled up on you? No, I don't. You don't? I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure you do know who these people are. I don't think I do. That's when officers tell her they know she's lying. Then she starts her story all over again. All I seen was Brandon walk up to him with a gun pointed in his face and Michael did this. That's the last thing I seen when I ran. Okay. Before I ran. Because okay. I seen the gun. I didn't know that there was a gun involved. Okay. That's why I ran. In the police interview, the teen says things were not supposed to escalate. I thought they were jumping him because, like I said, I heard the noise. So yeah. that's why I had, like, stayed there for a second. I didn't know they were gunshots. She then tells investigators how she feels guilty. He was nice. He had, like, I felt so bad. And then now that my friend Brandon's dead, I feel like I'm kind of the reason that he's dead. In Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. That teen is facing aggravated battery and conspiracy charges. We have also learned that three players police say arrived at the scene and took items from Peak. Issa Muhammad, Anthony Roy, and Marcellus Avery have all been suspended for one game for their involvement in the incident. You can see the previous stories in this Targeted 7 investigation on our KOET app. That includes the full police interview with Aggies head coach Rick.